Well, uh, James Gay Reese, um, the, the main producer, along with uh, Eric Palmer. J James, when he was a young boy, his um, father used to work for uh, John Player Special, sponsoring that Lotus car, the black car you saw at the beginning. And um, he would tell the teenage James about this mesmeric, completely otherworldly driver. And although James wasn't a Formula One fan, he put that in the back of his mind. And uh, ten years after Senna's death, James read a few articles about the death of Ed and Senna and just had this moment of inspiration where he thought, we've got to make the documentary. And uh, I was lucky enough to get a call from Working Title. And uh, they said, look, you've got to meet James, have a chat with him because you're the Senna nut. And uh, I think the two of you will be able to do something. And I spoke to James about it, and you, you saw the last sequence in that film was the original vision for the movie, The Death of Ayrton Senna. And I had a long chat with James about it and thought, you know, you can't really talk about his death without talking about his life. And um, Working Title and James being the good people that they are, I went, OK, write something. And we were so fortunate that they loved our original outline for the story. And then we were unbelievably fortunate when Asif Kapadia walked on to the film in 2007 because he brings with him, as you can see, a kind of visual flair, an eye that, that, that's indescribable. And there are just two other people, three other people to mention. We had two editors, Chris King and the amazing Gregor Sal. And Gregor's and Chris sat through thousands of hours of footage frame by frame to just put together what, what you've just seen. It's a quilt, it's a tapestry, it's something quite beautiful. And, and then we got a call completely out of the blue from a man called Antonio Pinto, who is one of Brazil's leading composers. And he'd done music for films like Collateral, he'd done City of God, City of Men, and uh, he called us and said, I'm writing the music for this film. And we said, oh, well, we can't afford you. And he said, no, I don't think you get it. I'm writing the music for the film. And without seeing the frame of the film, he created and composed that incredible um, main Sen anthem, and we, we got this as a download, and just all of us burst into tears and realized we had our composer. So we've, we've been fortunate, lucky, I don't know what the words are, and, and we've fallen our feet here in New York too, because um, as I said, for me personally, this is the end of an incredible journey coming back here to this city 17 years after his death, and uh, so just thank you again. Um, There's someone I'd love to introduce, John Bisignano, who you saw in the movie. John, you had to in your life. And I think we've got a few seconds for questions, if anyone's got anything to say. Yes. Elaine Prost rarely attends Formula One races anymore, and he'll never speak. I was wondering what his contribution was to this film, if any. Um, we were just asked about Alain Prost, who doesn't really go to Formula One races and if he contributed. Actually, Alain was fantastic. He gave us a four-hour interview in his apartment in Paris for that movie. Um, I believe he hasn't seen the film yet, but, uh, but he certainly helped. And the real reason he doesn't attend races anymore is because he doesn't have anything to do there. And once a, you've been a world champion and don't have a position with, in uh, the racing fraternity anymore, then you tend to, to stay away. Listen, there's uh, people just about ready to come into this theater for the next showing, but uh, one managed. This is not bad for a Yank crowd, for God's sakes, is it? My gosh. Now, I, uh, I want to thank you all for coming. This film has uh, exceeded its, uh, its projections in every country it's gone to, and it's because of people like you telling other people that they must see this film. Manish has, and his fraternity has come up with a film of uh, finally a racing film that shows the very, very best and the saddest parts of the sport. Thank you for that, Manish. Okay. I, I will be around for some uh, hardcore questions, but we need to get some more hardcore people in here. So thanks again for coming.